How long has classical music been a part of your life? Well, I was uh, born into a family. Uh, my grandmother was a classical cellist. Uh, she was a, uh, uh, a very active professional musician. Um, and from the time I was a little kid, I was surrounded by music. She, was, she would practice constantly. Uh, I'd go spend the night with her on a Friday night and uh, wake up at 3 in the morning and hear her down in the kitchen working on her parts for the symphony. She, uh, she performed with the Portland Symphony and numerous chamber groups. Uh, back in those days, um, the radio stations would hire groups to come in and perform for little programs they would have and uh, instrumental interludes and stuff, and she was always hauling that cello around on the bus back and forth downtown. When I was uh, three or four years old, she would take me from time to time with her to rehearsal of the symphony. I don't know what she was thinking of what a three- or four-year-old was going to do at the <laughs> rehearsal, but I just remember sitting in the first or second row of the, of the main floor and uh, watching the conductor and being fascinated by what he could do and hear the music, and I would just sit there. And So I've been raised with it, I suppose, uh, ever since I can first remember. Is there any particular reason you picked Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings as your Friday favorite? When I was in high school, there was a, a radio sh uh, station in Portland, where I grew up, that uh, every evening from 8 until 9, they had a program um, of classical music. And uh, the theme that they opened and closed that program with was the opening strains of Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings. And uh, when I was 15, my grandmother passed away and, uh, from cancer at a fairly young age of only 58. And uh, it really hit me. Uh, and uh, my interest and love of classical music maybe even grew after she passed because it reminded me of her so much. And she, and she would always say, any, any classical piece of music that I was listening to and she was in the room, she would say, do you hear the cellos? Do you hear the cellos? <laughs> right. And I would listen for the cellos. And so... <laughs> It's, it's, it's always been a favorite of mine ever since then. I'm Kenneth Payne from Spanish Fork, Utah, and my Friday favorite is Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings. ¶¶ 